Imagine if the entire life of our planet was squashed down into one single year. Now within that year, us humans have only been around for the last 37 minutes. And then within the last 0.2 of a second, us humans have managed to consume one third of the Earth's resources. Now when put into that perspective, our rate of human consumption is incredibly scary. Now a big chunk of this consumption comes from the things that we surround ourselves with. I'm talking about our possessions, the physical items in our lives, our stuff. And to put it bluntly, we have a serious problem. If we don't urgently change our consumer behaviour, the consequences for the future will be dire. Now my name is Greg Brebner, I'm from a company called Blunt, and I've spent the best part of my life dedicated to making one product the best it can be. Today I want to share with you some learning from that, that journey, So I think this knowledge could really help transform our consumer behaviour and just, just help us make better decisions about the things we choose to have in our lives. So over the previous few decades, we've had a crazy growth in our consumer economy. The, um, the culture we live in has made it not only okay to have a lot of stuff in our lives, it's actually encouraged us to do so. So much so that today in the average American household, there's over 300,000 items within it. Now this crazy growth in consumption is catching up with us and something has to change. But unfortunately, there's no easy fix. At the core of the issue is our relationship with physical objects. So they form an integral part of our lives. We use them as tools, they're reflections of who we are, how we fit into the world. They're a symbol of our success. They make us feel secure. Now the global economy has been largely set up to serve us these physical things. This system has now got so refined that consumers are being manipulated at very sophisticated levels. This is influencing not only what we are consuming, but how we are consuming it. Now, a big driver of this economy has been mass production. The increased efficiency for making things has made our stuff incredibly cheap. And this has resulted in a massive excess of low quality product that's just giving us a less fulfilling and more fleeting experience. To the point where our consuming is like, a, like an addiction. It's where this sort of increasingly reduced experience has us wanting more and more in order to be satisfied. And it's just a sad downward spiral. So what do we do about it? Well, just telling people to reduce their consumption does not seem to be the answer. People don't like that. What we need to do is find solutions that just satisfy this need for all the stuff in our lives, but have us consuming in a far healthier way. Now, the idea I'd like to share with you today speaks to the thinking that less can mean more. It's the idea that the quality of what we consume can have a drastic effect on the quantity. Now, as consumers in this complicated world, it's really difficult to know what the right thing is to do, right? There's just so much to consider and the transparency just isn't there. But there's one thing that we can be sure of, and that is the longer we own and use something, the better the outcome will be. Put simply, if we can own something twice as long, we only ever need half the input. Now on my journey to create a better umbrella, my initial focus was just to improve on the functional experience. Now this all worked out okay, but what really was unexpected was the reaction we got from people when they used this better functioning umbrella. They kept telling us how much they loved their blunt. <laughs> now, love is a very strong word to describe how you feel about an umbrella. <laughs> so, so we wanted to know more. Why did they feel this way and what did it mean? And what we found out was that by going deep in, into the, the functional experience with people, they were getting an emotional reaction to our products. By offering them a product that was attractive and durable and reliable, they were getting this feeling of confidence and security and joy. And all of these emotional reactions gathered up to form a connection, a connection that was built on trust. And the result of this was that people genuinely cared for their blunt umbrella. And in caring for it, they wanted to look after it. They wanted to be responsible for its well-being. If they'd lost it, they made every effort to try and find it. If it got broken, they went and got it repaired. And the longer they owned it, the longer they wanted to own it because they were emotionally invested. Now we found this incredibly interesting. 
Because what we'd basically done is inspired people to consume in a far more sustainable way without them even really needing to try. So how can we have more of this experience and products in our lives? Well, it all starts with the creator, the people who bring this stuff into the world. The creators and the makers need to be responsible for what they produce. The design and the build needs to be carefully considered down to every single element. When something is produced with this deep care and attention, a foundation has been laid for a long-lasting life for that product. But making a great product just isn't enough by itself. Once out in the world, it needs the appropriate care. And there's no one better equipped to support the care of a product in the world than that of the maker. So they need to be present right up until the end of life. But unfortunately, this just is not happening for most of the stuff we own today. There is a massive disconnect between the consumer and the maker. And this situation just allows businesses to be completely irresponsible. They can hide behind these layers of product distribution and just have no accountability. And the result is we get this flood of low quality stuff in our world that should never have been made to begin with. But there's a massive opportunity here for brands and makers to rise above the scene. By looking to the long term with what they create and how they care for it, we can create this beautiful win-win-win scenario. I wouldn't where the consumer wins. By having this beautiful long-term relationship with this product that just outperforms anything that's equivalent. The creator wins by just having a really valuable long-term relationship with their customer, which is the foundation for any good business. And ultimately, the planet wins by just less stuff being produced, less stuff going into landfill. So what do we do as consumers? Well, firstly, we need to work out just how much of the stuff is in our lives and what it means to us. We need, need to carefully consider just what it, what it means to us. When we think of these products, we need to just analyze what the emotional reaction is that we're getting from them. Do they serve us in such a way that we want to care back and look after their well-being over time? Would we even care if they weren't there? Now, once our awareness is raised, we're in a much better position to actually make better decisions about the new things that come into our lives. We want to choose products that have the potential to connect with us. We want to choose brands that um, have the transparency so that we can find out exactly what we need to know before we purchase. What are their values? What happens when something goes wrong with the product? What is their version of care? These things, we need to, sorry, we need to imagine a future with this product in our lives. Is it built to last? Does it have the design credentials that we'll still love it in years to come? Now, once these things are all in place, we need to really, really consider deeply before we part with our hard-earned dollar. You know, as consumers, our power lies in our purchasing decisions. And the more we choose from these responsible makers of products today, the more there'll be in the future for us to choose from. Now, by investing the longer term with these quality offerings, we're going to become more discerning, we'll be more fulfilled, and more immune to the excess of this low-quality stuff in our lives. Now, we only have one planet, finite resource. Today, we are currently consuming ourselves into oblivion and making ourselves sick in the process. There is a better future for us where we can have this stuff in our lives but still look after the planet around us. We just need to demand better. We need to make better. And we need to choose better for a better future. Thank you.